Tonight on the Maritime Beer Report, I've got some news on some new beers, a new brewery in Dartmouth, uh, some exciting events in Fredericton and Cape Breton, and two of the most divisive words in the English language, pumpkin beers. It's been a beautiful week here in Halifax. I hope you had a chance to enjoy some of it. And now here's the beer highlights for the past week. Upstreet Craft Brewing says today at 6 p.m. following the pumpkin drop, the Grave Digger Imperial Pumpkin Ale will be available at the brewery. It's a 7.5% ABV, 30 IBU beer. This recipe originated from home brewer Ryan Palmer two years ago and became something of a legend last fall when Hoagie and Ryan brewed their next version. Big Spruce Brewing is having live music every afternoon between today and, and next Saturday, except for, of course, Sunday. Uh, that's for the Celtic Colors event. They will have a food truck on site during that time. Next Friday, there's going to be a pig roast at the brewery. If you're a leaf peeper and in the area, you have even more of an incentive to drop in, tap your toes, and enjoy the brewery. Breton Brewing is releasing its Celtic Colors Maple Lager today. To be specific, it's a German Munich Helles Lager with 20 liters of pure Nova Scotia maple syrup. They only made one batch, so get it while it lasts. Ferkenstein Brewing is selling growlers at the Hubbard's Barn Farmer's Market tomorrow from 8 till noon. It's a great, way to cha uh, great chance to try out beer from this newest brewery if you haven't had any yet. Garrison Brewing did a soft launch of its Three Fields Harvest Ales this week. It's a 6.3% ABV beer made with eight varieties of fresh hops from Meander River Farms, Fiddlehop Farm, and Ross Farm Museum. It's now available at the NSLC, private stores very soon, and at the brewery. Granite Brewery is selling black and tan growlers from the beer store on Stair Street. It's a blend of their best bitter and Keith's Irish Stout. They also said that their honey ginger is gone for the season. We'll look for it again next summer. It was reported in the coast this week that Nine Locks Brewing will be opening at 219 Waverly Road in the same building as Micmac Tavern later next month. The uh, microbrewery is an homage to the Nine Locks in the Shubenacadie Canal, and the 7,000 square foot brew house will house a 20 barrel DME system. Rock Bottom brewmaster Jake Saunders and Chris Downey, formerly of Montreal's Brewtopia, will be initially brewing six styles of beers, an IPA, an extra special bitter, a white ale, an APA, porter, and an ISA. Early in 2016, they plan to have their beers available in growlers at the brewery and a retail store, as well as 473 mil cans at the brewery, the NSLC, restaurants, and private liquor stores. Nook and Cranny and Truro has switched things up and they now have their own pumpkin spice ale on tap with a sugar cinnamon nutmeg rim. The beer is a 4.5% ABV and the aroma is more allspice oriented, just like smelling fresh baked apple or sorry, uh, pumpkin pie. James Joyce Pub is hosting a series of Meet Your Makers featuring Big Axe Brewing. Join them on October 23rd for this first edition at 7.30 p.m. with Peter and Tatiana and a tap takeover. It's your chance to meet with the brewers and talk about beer. And that's all I have for this week. Thanks very much for joining me. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. I hope everybody has a good one. And until next time, enjoy responsibly. <laughs>